What's going on beautiful people? I am Lee Hammock, the diagnosed self-aware narcissist known as mental illness and welcome to another episode of A Narcissist Explains. In today's episode, we're going to be talking about a few different reasons why narcissists and toxic people, some of them, will discard or abandon their kids. Stay tuned, like and subscribe for more. So this person is asking why do some narcissists and toxic people abandon their kids? And of course, if you're new here, I'm a narcissist, actually I'm a narcissist, the person I have the disorder. So there are a few different reasons why some narcissists and toxic people will abandon their kids. Starting with, they just lose control of the, over the significant other, over the other parent. They can no longer use those kids as leverage to control the other parent, so it's bye-bye. You, you no longer serve a purpose. Sometimes they discard the kids because the kids become an inconvenience to them in their schedule. I can't do this, I can't do that because I have to parent, I have to be here for these kids and things like that, so bye bye kids. Another reason they discard the kids is because the kids grow up and understand what the narcissist and who the narcissist is. Like they, they know they, they, the, the manipulation on the kids no longer works. So it's bye bye kids because you know who I am now. The other reason they would discard the kids is simply to punish the other parent. Oh, I can't control you? Bye bye kids. And another reason, and this might suck y'all, but they don't care about the kids. A lot of narcissistic people see kids as reflections of them. And if they don't reflect back good things, it's bye bye. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back, y'all. So, touchy, touchy subject. Have we here? We have a touchy subject here, y'all. Touchy. So many people want to talk about why narcissists do narcissists love their kids. Well, why do they abandon their kids? Well, we got a few different reasons right here, y'all. I have seven decent reasons not not decent there's, there's, there's no and not ever a decent reason to abandon or discard your kids but this is seven reasons inside a narcissist brain that may tick off not a decent reason this is how narcissists convince themselves or whatever you know what i mean i have not abandoned my kids i know several people in my life who have you mean for these some of these exact same reasons so i understand the dynamic and whatnot y'all so reason number one like i said in my little my short video um they lose control of the significant other they just do. They, they feel like they lost control of the significant other, the partner, um, the supplier or whoever, you know, the spouse. They feel like they've lost control over you. So they'll threaten to or will abandon those kids. They just will. They'll sometimes they use, they'll threaten to do it. Well, if you don't, if I lose access to you, if I can't come over there and watch the kids over there at your house, if I can't do everything over there with you and my family, I don't want those damn kids anymore. And that will absolutely happen. Because they feel like they lose control over you, they lose access to you or the you know the partner or whatever. They will discard the kids. That's just how how it happens a lot of times. They feel like they you know it's like a package deal. You know what I mean? I'm buying this. I'm buying you. Here you go. You know, I, you can't have one without the other. It's buy you get to buy the kids get you free. That type of stuff right there. Excuse me. That type of stuff right there. And that's the mindset of a lot of narcissistic people, y'all. I know that sucks to hear, but if they lose control over you, they lose access to you, they will cut the kids off. Buy kids. And they'll, look, they hopefully, this is the mindset of some of them too, y'all. They will just plan on telling the kids in the future. We'll, we'll connect when you get 18, when you get 21, we'll sit you down at a bar and tell you all the horrible things that your other parent did. <sighs> and people, I'm just telling y'all, some delusional ass people out here that think they believe that. Um, number two, they lose control of the kids. Like the kids are no longer listening to them and things like that. The kids no longer respect the narcissist or the toxic parent. And again, they, that ties into you. That ties into the, 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 uh, the other parent. You know what I mean? Male or female, non-binary. You know I mean? Whoever you are, um, it ties into you. They feel like they lose control of the kids, so they're blaming you because they think you, you're indoctrinating the kids. <coughs> Kanye West. Um, <laughs> uh, yay. Yay, anybody? You know what I mean? So they lose control of the kids, so they just start to blame you and stuff like that. You know what I mean? Uh, number three, inconvenience. Those kids, those children become an inconvenience to the narcissistic person's life or their goals or their schedule and things like that. They feel like they can't do anything because they have to take care of kids. They have to financially support kids. They have to pay child support. They have to do this. They have to dedicate time, effort, and energy to these kids. And those kids are holding them back. If they, if I would have had these kids, I would have been in the NBA right now. If I would have had these kids, I would have been a famous football player right now. If I would have had these kids, I would be a famous musician by now. It's all the kids holding me back. I can't concentrate. I can't focus on my craft because I have to focus on these kids kids and their little arts and crafts and stuff like that so their kids are a hindrance these these kids those children become an inconvenience they get in the way of the narcissist or the, you know the kids are not in the way 
the narcissist, the person puts the kids in the way of their life or their goals. And they, the kids become a front end excuse for why they're not achieving their goals. And so even when they abandon those kids and they don't hit those goals, those kids will still be, a, those kids or you will still be the reason why they abandon the kids. Like, well, I didn't hit, I, I started too late. I got started so late because of you. Rabble, rabble, rabble. Those damn kids. Blah, 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 blah. You know, it happens. Reason number four, the kids see through them. The kids understand who their narcissistic parent is and the manipulation doesn't work anymore because they understand it. They see that they see the manipulation. They see the, the the childishness. They see the aggression. They see the anger. They see the you know the the emotional immaturity in that parent. You see what I'm saying? They see it. They understand it. They feel it. You see the dynamic? You know what I mean? So they, they see all of that stuff. They understand all of that stuff. They hear all that stuff and they still, you know, what I mean? the kids just see it and they just they don't listen to it anymore. So it got, kind of goes back to number two, they lose control of the kids. Physically, now they lose the control of the kids mentally. The kids are just not tolerating it anymore. The kids kind of start fighting back and being, you know, dismissive towards the you know, narcissist or the toxic parent. You see what I'm saying? So the kids grow up and just don't want to have, sometimes they, the kids choose to cut the parent off. The kids do that. You mean, but the narcissist in the, in the mind, mind of some narcissists, they're like, well, you, I'm blaming the other parent. Rabble, rabble, rabble. And it's not my actions. It's not anything I've said or done. It's the other parent. Rabble, rabble, rabble. No. You see that mindset right there. Number five, they they do this to punish the other parent. The narcissistic person sets off to punish the other parent by abandoning the kids. Make it harder in your life and things like that. Because you need a narcissist financially or you need them to help watch the kids when you go to work or something like that. They punish you by not being there. They punish you by missing the schedule up. They punish you by just not showing up to pick them up from school and putting it all on, making it all fall into your plate. Because you, again, goes back to rule number one, you cut off access. So they punish you through that. Like well, Life would be easy, you just let me hit them cheeks. Life would be easy, you just let me move back in. I can watch the kids. I can babysit the kids. It's not babysit. You can't, ba- no. you can't babysit your own children. <laughs> you just, it, how? Explain how you can babysit your own children. You know what I mean? But that's the mindset. That's the dynamic and things like that. But you, that, like I said, you, you do it to punish the other parents. So the other parent can't move on and live a, a, a live a life without you. So you put it like, you do what you want to do. But because the other parent has to bear the emotional and physical you know, load of the children, they can't do what they want to do because they're always, they always had the kids. You know what I mean? Numbers, number six, the new supply. Sometimes they abandon the kids because of the new supply. The new supply has kids that they can replace their own children with. They can play good, they can play stepmom or stepdaddy to these new kids, or they just have dreams of starting a new, fresh, un, untethered, unfiltered, a new family with the new supply. You know, they can erase you and your children and just abandon everybody else and just start fresh with this new family, this new dynamic. And just blame, again, they just blame the other parent. Like, blah, 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 blah. They start posting stupid stuff. Or they start posting dumb shit on social media. It just, it, 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 it gets funny, y'all. Um, seriously, it does get funny. It's embarrassing. But again, this, this is the, the, the delusional mindset of a lot of narcissists and toxic people. It just is. You know what I mean? And that's how it goes. So like they'll abandon the kids because they find a new supply and they, you know, and they'll show it off too. They'll brag on it. New family, new this, you know, this is all I wanted with my ex, blah, 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 bleep, bleep, bleep. You know what I mean? That's the mindset of it all right there. That's the dynamics of it all right there. It is. You know what I mean? And then number seven, final, the final reason y'all, sometimes they just don't care about those kids. This is not all narcissists, but this is, this is, this is some of them y'all. They just don't care about the kids. Like allow, like I said in my uh, the YouTube short or the TikTok, whatever you're watching this on. Um, they just don't care. Like they they have no emotional connection to those kids. They just don't connect emotionally to the kids. It never registers that those kids are actually part of them. You know, they just don't emotionally connect. They don't. They look at those kids. You know, typically, a lot of narcissists see themselves in their children. And sometimes they, when you like narcissists look in the mirror, they don't like what they see back. Those children are reflections of them. If you don't like what you see in the mirror, you break the mirror. You get rid of the mirror. You put a cloth over the mirror so you can't see yourself anymore. You see what I'm saying? So sometimes they don't care. They just emotionally disconnect. They don't care about you anymore. They don't care about the kids anymore. And they move on with their lives. There's some horrible men and women out here, y'all. They just abandon their kids because the kids, like I said, for the, a multitude of different reasons. There's there are more reasons, y'all. I just wrote down these seven quick ones because I know I don't, y'all know I don't like to ramble on with 15, 20 minute videos. I just try to get you get in there straight to the point, get in and get out. You know what I mean? 
that's the mentality of a lot of my videos. I like to get in there, get out, give you the information, and just keep it moving. That's what I do. You mean I do what I do. <laughs> but yeah, that's how it goes, though, y'all. It's just like uh, I, t I say this in a lot of videos anyway. When you are dealing with a narcissistic person, anyway, you're going to have the you're going to have to bear the emotional load of those kids anyway. You're going to have to bear the burden of raising those kids emotionally anyway, and sometimes physically as well, because you get you end up with a narcissist or a toxic other parent that is horrible or just emotionally immature or they have their own childhood trauma and they, they, they never work through themselves. They have their trauma that they work, never work through themselves so they take it out on their kids. A lot of people do that. A lot of people have this emotional immaturity and they, they experience trauma in their own childhoods. They grow up and have kids and they don't take care of them. You know, and they, they, they abandon their kids. The love, that they, the love that they didn't get from their parents they withhold it from their own children because some of them are jealous of their children. That's another reason right there. Some of them are jealous of the kids. You know, they want to hold their kid. They want to actively hold their kids back because their kids are smarter than them or more athletic than them, more gifted than them in some way, shape, or form. They want to hold their kids back. I can go on. For, yeah, I can go on for 10 more minutes if I wanted to. I got to cut this thing short. Um, Toronto, Canada, November 19th, NARC, narcavengers.com, uh, slash Toronto. See you there. Stay tuned for more. Like and subscribe for more. As always, Mr. Hill, this is out. Peace.